Hi guys, Cody Sheen here. Second day out in the shed woods for 2022. Uh, so far it's pretty thick as I'm hunting some new uh, country. As you can see it snowed last night, but it's melting pretty quick. Hunting some heavy brush, heavy oaks. Uh, so far I haven't been able to turn up anything, but uh, all trails app says I've been doing four and a half miles and I'm getting a little tired of this heavy brush in here. So it's uh, beating me up. So I think I'm gonna go ahead and uh, go back to a more reliable area. I thought I'd try something a little different. That's what shed hunting is all about, exploring. So uh, I'll keep you in touch, keep you informed. Thanks for watching, bye. Welcome back, I've moved locations and uh, it's a little open here, some buck brush, a little easier to see. Came around the corner and bam, here's an old chalk it looks like around. Yeah, kind of tucked under the bushes a little bit. What do we find, Rudy? Oh boy, that looks like a dinosaur. Let's get him out of there. Oh yeah, old crusty. Yeah, well, it's something. Better than nothing, something. All right, keep looking. All right, guys, so I just found another one not too long ago after that first one. Uh, I was looking at this scrape right here. I'll turn around the camera and show you. And uh, right below the, the scrape, the little antler. Here's the scrape. I was just checking it out. And I'm like, ah, cool. It's like a little chalk four by four point again. Oh yeah, he's all green and nasty. Looks <laughs> like the squirrel's found, he's been there for a while. Little pink zilla on that side. Yeah, that's a dinky, dinky four point, my goodness. Hey guys, I'm just sitting down, taking a little break, sitting on this rock here, and uh, I just thought, I'm glassing the other side, and I thought, why not just show a little quick tip on the south slope here, especially after this manzanita brush and buck brush. Um, I've been just glassing around, looking for any kind of uh, hard whites, or, or if I get lucky, a browns. Browns are pretty tough, but the hard whites and or chalks, they pop pretty good on days like this, overcast day. But yeah, let your class do some walking. I just was able to cover this a whole entire hillside. I feel pretty confident. Now I'll, I'll go walk through there and put a little boots on the ground, but I'll feel better that at least I looked on this side of the bushes and I'll go check the upper side of the bush. But that's just another tip, just glass, glass, glass. Get, get in a good location where you can look down and uh, you never know, I, I, I love finding sheds in my glass, so. Good luck, give it a try. Um, keep doing it, keep working on it, it'll come easier. Whites will pop it once you, you see them in your glass. That's only approximately 200, 200 to 250 yards to the top. So it's it's doable. You can see, a, visualize a fork and arm, visualize a three point, the forks, whatever, a tine, and look small and, and you'll find it. You'll be successful, you'll be surprised. All right, good luck, try that tip out. It's uh, getting my butt handed to me out here today. So that's shed hunting sometimes. But I turned around. And it looks like a little deuce here. Check it out. Oh. Yeah. Looks like it's in pretty good shape. Looks like it might be a hard white. But it's been tough today. It's my third antler. They've all been around this buck brush. I've been really keen on it. But as you can see in the distance, there's just nothing but buck brush. So I just, I try to look around, look around every single bush. And uh, it's tough. And I just happen to see his white tine sticking up. But all trail says 6.48 miles. Um, this area started off with a bang, but then I walked two and a half miles for this guy. So this is the way you should hunt and go sometimes. Got to put some miles in. You don't always pick the right line. My, if you haven't seen day one, episode one of uh, this year, Shed Tour 2022, uh, I did pretty well. I was on the right line then. Kind of cleaned up. Found nine total sheds. Go back and watch that if you haven't seen it. And, uh, yeah. Luckily, it's a cool day out here. I'm having fun. So I'm heading back to the truck. My dogs are barking. I think Rudy's heading back to the truck. Hi guys, we'll wrap this video up just doing a quick little overview. 
Um, as you can see here, old compact four. Dinky little three point, been out here forever. Underneath the bush and some grass. And then this little hard wire that's found. 6.8 miles overall uh, for three sheds. Sometimes you are on the line, sometimes you're not. So that's just shed hunting. At least I did find my quota. I found three at least, so that's that's good. That's better. <laughs> I didn't get my butt completely handed to me, but uh, if you haven't, uh, please like the video. Please uh, subscribe. I appreciate it. Get a chance. Go back. Watch day one. Found nine antlers that day. It was a good day. I was pumped. One giant brown for me. So, fortunately, not the same today. All right, guys. Until next time. Take care. Bye bye.